Hey everybody, welcome to TFOS, the Executive Function Online Summit. My name is Seth Perler and this is Dr. Michael Postma. Hello. Um, so Echo, echo, echo. Uh, Mike has is is really a leader in the gifted world and does a lot with helping kids with um, two E kids, gifted kids, and social emotional needs. And let's talk a little bit about the hats that you wear. When somebody says to you, Mike, um, oh, you work with kids or families? Like, what do you do? What's your job? How do you respond to that? <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's really, actually, it's really difficult to explain because it doesn't really sound like a job. Yeah. Right? I'm in the it, same it, boat, yes. It sounds uh, almost uh, almost fake in a sense. So I just tell them that I'm a consultant in essence. I work with families on that have different types of needs, whether it's learning or whether it's self-control or whether it's, uh, you know, you name it. Um, and, and I specify in this type of population, you know, uh, uh, families with kids or even adults, because the adults generally tend to be pretty similar to the kids um, that have high intellectual capacity, but also maybe struggling with some other things. Um, whether it's sensory processing or social emotional issues or um, you name it, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm kind of more of their life coach and help them get through situationally or even to a point I'm involved in quite a few uh, families that are struggling with school districts. So I'm an advocate for them in that sense, having kind of been through the ringer as a teacher and administrator in the past, I kind of know the ropes a bit so I can help them in those areas. Um, and then the coaching piece is constant. It's ongoing. It's, uh, you know, these kids come with so many intensities and, uh, and, you know, so many challenges, but so many rewards as well. So many, so many gifts that it's, uh, it's incredible work. It, it, it can be really taxing too. I know you talked about this too, Seth, in terms of just, uh, emotionally, I tend to be more introverted. And, and so when I'm on, and on and on all the time. Uh, I can, it can take a lot out of me. But on the other hand, when you, when you hear the stories afterwards and some of the rewards in terms of how, uh, how they're growing, it's, it can be also very refreshing. So yeah, the bottom line is uh, we run a company that is really looking at serving the holistic needs of our gifted and twice exceptional community, um, whether they're teachers, whether they're parents, whether they're kids, and uh, so we do that through, uh, we run conferences once a year. Yes, uh, we do coaching, second. obviously. We do webinars. Uh, and uh, by the time you hear this, all those webinars will be done. But, um, you know, we're really trying to feed information and develop community that's a little bit deeper. Um, we want to, we'd like to go deeper in a sense um, and provide, you know, we do parent support groups, things like that as well. Just our parents need community. Um, so, it's, you know, they tend to, when we're in the coaching game for education, our parents tend to be left on the side and we want to make sure they're feeling inclusive. And this is the site here, giftedandthriving.com. And there's a uh, free to e parent survival guide and uh, all of Mike's resources here. Um, and let's see, I'm looking at my notes real quick. Uh, okay, so... Um, when we dive into the summit here, what are we going to learn from you in the TFO summit this year? I, th I think I've almost, almost forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to learn, I think we're going to learn a little bit more in terms of uh, the connections between, uh, you know, the brain functionality and executive functioning and everything in between. Uh, we're going to learn about intensities and behaviors and, uh, listening and compassion and, and validation. And um, we're really going to learn the biggest lesson of all in this, that it's never, never too late. If there's always hope for your kids, for your family, for yourself, if, if needed. Um, and that if you need help, get help, right? If you need help, get help. You're never alone. There's communities out there that can help you. There's professionals out there that can help you. It doesn't have to be us, um, but you know, if you're feeling like an outlier, a little bit isolated, if your children are struggling or even you're struggling, there is assistance. 
And, uh, you know, in my community, uh, with folks, the clients we serve that are what we'd call, you know, more highly intellectual uh, or have high intellectual potential, it's a little bit different story because of the intensities and the sensitivities. And so traditional uh, methodologies may not always work. Um, so you want to be involved in community. You want to be getting the kind of help you need and the interpretation of, of what's going on in your lives and the lives of your kids. So um, it's just a little different niche. That's all. And my last question is, what's your why? How did you know that helping kids and families mattered to you that so much that you wanted to really dedicate yourself to this? I, I think for a lot of us, it, it, some of it comes from our own upbringing. Um, some of it comes from uh, maybe what we lacked or needed in our, in our own youth, um, having trouble connecting or not getting the type of uh, educational needs met as we should have, um, or sliding through, in my case, sliding through school pretty sim pretty easily all the way through college to the point where I didn't develop any skills in terms of communication, in terms of uh, understanding who I was, in terms of work habits and things like that. And there comes a time and a place where all that comes crashing together. And, um, and then, you know, as you go through that process, you're really looking at, okay, where do I fit, number one? And number two, how is that going to be of value in any form or fashion? Um, you know, my wife was in corporate America for many, many years. And while well, she really enjoyed it, and it was rewarding in some sense, she just didn't feel like she was making any kind of difference. Um, and what we're doing now in terms of helping families is is much more rewarding in that sense, even though it's not as lucrative. Um, I don't know why you said that, but regardless, <laughs> it is what it is. But um, so for me, when I started grad school, I knew I was going to get into education. I just kind of always knew that. And uh, I started in special ed and um, I just didn't feel that was where I needed to be. And so the very first visit I went made is with Dr. Karen Rogers, and I don't know if anyone recognizes, but she's a kind of a pillar in the in the gifted community for research. Um, and she said, "Well, what did you try this? Did you try to go into gene gifted and talented?" I said, "No, never even thought about it. That's where I started." Um, well, thank so. you, Mike. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.